Amateur Logic Shorts. For those of you that watch Amateur Logic, you know that we love microcontrollers on here. You can do so many things with them. I recently got some Raspberry Pi Picos, which is an amazing device for about $4. Uh, dual core. I'm not going to go into all the specs, but it's a great little device. Uh, the only downfall was if you're used to Arduinos, you had to learn a new language, which is MicroPython or C, or C++, um, using different uh, IDEs. I used Thani, some with MicroPython. But I always wanted to use the Arduino IDE. Well, that day is here now that that can happen. Let's go ahead and get this one set up. I've got it plugged up to my USB port on my, on my computer. And let's run the Arduino IDE. To add support to the Arduino IDE for the Raspberry Pi Pico, let's go in here to Tools, Boards, Board Manager, and we'll put in uh, it's a 2040 board. And here it is, uh, Raspberry Pi Pico support. So let's install it. While that's installing, it's going to be interesting to see if some of the samples will work for it. And I'm just going to try the simple Blink one that uh, everybody uses because I don't have any other hardware interface to this right now. But there is a built-in LED. Would you like to install? Yes, I would. And I would like to install that one too. Okay, it's there. So let's close it. And you can see I've got the blink sketch already up on my computer. To actually write the software to this device, we need to unplug it, hold down the uh, boot select button right here on the Pi Pico, and you can see it opened up the file system. I'll just minimize that. I've got mine on this little piece of breadboard right now just to give it a little weight. Uh, otherwise, the USB cable makes a little board flop all over the place and makes video in it kind of difficult. Let's go ahead and make sure we got the right board. We did that. Raspberry Pi Pico. Now let's uh, verify the sketch and it's compiling. You can see on the Pi, on our uh, Pico, that there are no lights blinking right now. The LED is not flashing. Okay, it compiled just fine. So let's go ahead and see if it'll run. Now this is a simple, the default sketch is going to turn the LED on for one second and turn it off for one second and just do that continuously. So let's see if it'll work. I click the uh, run button here. It's compiling. It's uploading. It's loading it into the flash and the default sketch does work. So you can see the LED blinking. And we can prove that by changing the timings here. So we'll change that to two seconds on and one half of a second off. And let's try to run it again. Upload. Compiling. And we're probably going to get an error this time, which is by design I want to show you. I did notice that uh, with this new board added that it takes a little bit longer to compile the executable. Error occurred while uploading the sketch. So that means we're not in the boot select mode anymore. So what we've got to do is unplug the board, hold the button down again, and plug it back up. Now we can run our, upload our sketch again. So let's try that one more time. It's uploading, compiling rather, and then it'll upload. It's working. Okay, we did two and a half. So there's, uh, it's on. And you can see it's changed the uh, interval that it's on. It's on for a long time and off very briefly. Hope you find this useful. It's going to be really great to use the Arduino stuff that I've, I'm familiar with to develop for this new board. So I'm, I'm really thankful for that. If you like these shorts, be sure to like and subscribe. They're released only on YouTube. So if you don't subscribe to our YouTube channel, be sure and subscribe so you'll get notified when we add other videos. 73.